Low back pain has become the number one reason that patients go and see orthopedic and spine specialists. Uh, second to the upper respiratory issue, it's the number two reason why any patient goes to see a physician at all. Understanding low back pain and diagnosing it is critically important because studies have clearly showed the longer you go without the proper diagnosis, the longer it takes for you to recover. The longer it takes for you to recover, the more uh, chronic issues can develop. So coming and seeing us as specialists early in the state of your condition can help redirect your care and make sure that we have the right diagnosis. A lot of times patients will even come in and they'll complain of hip pain. But when they say hip, they actually reach around and they touch their buttocks. And it's okay, we'll call it buttock pain. But buttock pain is not hip pain and buttock pain does come from the spine. And so these patients, uh, we're able to redirect with proper physical therapy, uh, spine uh, x-rays instead of hip x-rays, and give them the diagnosis that uh, has been so challenging thus far. The most important thing that patients can do to try and prevent low back pain is a quality home exercise program. We take our time and we explain to patients how stretching certain muscle groups is really important and how strengthening certain muscle groups is really important. And patients do their best. I tell them, you know, you wouldn't let your kid go to, go to school and then not come home and do their homework. So we kind of encourage our patients that, hey, you came to school with me today, but now I need you to go home and do your homework. Stretching is really important. Strengthening is even more important to help keep that good posture and to help take pressure off of the spine. When these simple modifications don't work, then we get more sophisticated with MRIs and CAT scans to better understand, is there something that is abnormal that we are missing? After we do that and maybe possibly get a better diagnosis, we can redirect physical therapy or even consider spine injections. Bracing sometimes is used, but we try to encourage patients that we want you to use your muscles. So there are certain conditions where the alignment is out of place and so we will brace patients. In general, we try to encourage you to use your own muscles because that's what's gonna help keep you out of our office. Some of the things that I tell my patients to avoid are bending with their back and instead to bend more with their knees and their hips. When they are going to carry something, instead of twisting quickly, move your feet so you actually turn your entire body as opposed to making a quick twist.